Hey guys, how is everybody? I gotta grab my lotion real quick. What did everybody do today? I tore my studio completely apart. Well, you saw it last Friday. And I committed to um, getting it back. But it has to be divided into store and studio. Hey, Margie. Hi, Amanda. Gigi. Wow. A lot of you beat me in here. Hey, Nettie. Hi, Christy. Hey, Allison. Good to see you all. Can't tell you. I've missed you. Hi, Laura. Hey, Angie. Nettie. Hi, Dawn. Awesome. Good to see you. Oh, when it's um when it's like a whole week from like Saturday night to the next Friday night, I really miss talking to you guys. I really do. Anybody else? Get like that, feel like that, because this is like talking to all my sisters. Seriously. <clears throat> um, okay, I got a little anxious and jumped the gun, and I opened one of the boxes already because I thought I knew what it was, and it was, and I'm glad I did, <clears throat> so I could get them. <clears throat> oh my goodness, so I could get them organized in here to show you. All right, let me get the camera. Let me get this. That trade places. I've got stacks of boxes and packages all around me. All right, we just lost our um, focus. Let's see if we can get our focus back. I know it doesn't like the plastic, but maybe it'll focus on that. Okay, it's coming back. There it is. Look at this. This is so cool. So the package that I opened was this whole, I put them in this plastic container, uh, this whole thing of vintage postcards. And a few special ones are even in plastic sleeves. This is so cool. Look at that. 10 cent stamp. Wow. No, that had to be 10 cents for the postcard because it says domestic stamp, one cent, foreign two, foreign two cents. It only costs two cents to send that to Glennis. <laughs> uh, what does that say? Hardiest congratulations. Can you tell that that is, oh, 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 I didn't even realize that. That rose is velvet. Can you tell that that's embossed? That's really cool, but that rose is velvet. How cool is that? I will say I've never seen one quite like that. That's pretty cool. Hi, Mousy. Good to see you. I know that's neat. Here, let's just run through a few of them and see what they're like. I didn't look at them. I just pulled them all out and put them in here. I know um, most of them are supposed to have writing on them, and some of them still have their postage on them. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Wow. These are really old. We These are really old. Look how pretty that is. Moonlight on the lake. That's cool. Lynn. Oh, I want to stop and read them, but I won't read them all. But you know how you just want to read it, get a little peek into somebody's life. Was it a love postcard or, you know, just a mom and dad? Ooh, that's pretty. That's embossed too. All right, who knows old postcards? Is it, was that a thing that um, flowers like this were embossed? So whoever's on Facebook, I don't have... I don't have anything open with Facebook on it, so I can't tell who's on Facebook. But um, if you will go to streamyard.com slash uh, Facebook and click yes, it'll show me your name. Otherwise, it just says Facebook user, so I can't see who it is. Or if you go 
in the stream in Happy Paper People and Facebook, there is a link uh, that I put in there to the um, YouTube. Um, so you can get into YouTube and see everybody else's comments because YouTube can't see Facebook and Facebook can't see YouTube. Man, there's some cool loving thought. Wow. Can you see the metallic on some of these? Emblem of good fortune. Go wish you happy. Oh, to wish you happiness and health and all the luck you wish yourself. Ooh, there's a sixpence. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Five bucks if anybody can read that. Hi, Trudy. Oh, my gosh. Margie. <laughs> Margie, can you read this? The name is a tiny bit larger. Mrs. Eunice, maybe? B? Something. Oh, my gosh. That is probably the tiniest writing I've ever seen in my whole life. Hi, Marianne and Evie. Good to see you guys. We're looking, we're just unboxing some cool finds I've found. And look at, oh, I cannot believe that tiny writing. That is so, so tiny. Your kids say you're ancient. I know. Did somebody, yeah. I, that's, I thought, oh, that's printed. No, that's not. Emma, honest and true, I love you. Oh, how sweet. I love you only. Think of me, dear. Okay, so he wrote this whole postcard. I got to know what it says now. Got to read it. Um, but then afterwards, in these tiny little spaces, he printed, Emma, honest and true, I love you. Think of me only. I Oh, I, wait, 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 wait. I love you only. Oh, oh, kisses, kisses here. Oh, that's, that's precious. Oh, I had a feeling this was going to be a good lot. This please post. Ooh, look at that. All shiny. That kind of looks like cloisonne. Oh, these are cool. These are cool. Okay, so there's just a sampling. Oh, goodness. There's a whole, there's a whole thing of them. Like here, I don't even know how many there are. Hundreds. Hundreds. Let's see what else is in plastic. Greetings, because there's more than some that are kept in plastic, and maybe it's just, um, I don't know whose it was. Look, that's metallic. This one right here with the birds, this is metallic. How pretty is that? To Gladys from Santa Claus, 1911. Wow. Greetings and all good wishes. That's really pretty. Oh, some of these are really, really beautiful. Wow. Look, there's an, oh, here's another one with velvet on it. This one right here has velvet on it. That's cool looking. Hi, Candy. Ooh, they, they really did the, um, of course, you know, postcards were a thing back then. They really did the metallic and the shiny and glossy. Okay. These are, these are gorgeous. Um, give me some input. How would you like to see these? Like in packs of 10, packs of five, um, what, uh, you know, I'm always willing to take your input on how we put these out, out there. These are really cool. Oh, look at that. To the sweetest of girls. That's precious. Vintage Valentine. There might be some Valentine. I love those two because they're they're the love ones. Ten, five or ten packs, packs of ten, five or ten, like ten, yes, ten. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. Embossed must have been a thing. Look at this. Oh, this is one of our um, ancient sisters. This one is embossed. And then down on the corner where it says Thelma, that is, um, oh goodness, I just went blank. Um, you know, where heat activates. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> Why did I just go blank? Um, embossing powder. So the flowers embossed and then Thelma is written in embossing powder down there. That was one of our crafty scissor, scissors, sisters. <laughs> oh goodness, it's been a long day. I oh, that's cool. The whole thing's embossed. Um, wow, that one too. See the back of the postcards where you see the embossing? That just looks really cool. I literally tore the whole um my whole studio apart today. And uh because I got to reorganize it. So first thing was to rearrange, reorganize the um, furniture, the ones that aren't built in. I mean, it was a <laughs> candy text and asked me to, if I could send her something, email or something. Um, and I said, yeah, whenever I can find my computer, because it's buried. <laughs> oh, oh, guys, these are awesome. These are just beautiful beautiful cards such beautiful flowers forget me nots those are pretty oh look at that one Allison that's really pretty oh I've it's a good thing I'm showing you these because I could easily sit on these and hoard them. Look at that. Beautiful with the bird. All the gold and embossing. Congratulations. That's really pretty. Yeah, these are awesome. Um, Candy, do you want to come on with me so that you could read some of the comments aloud to me while I look at stuff? So I don't want to miss people's comments and opinions on things. Do you feel like doing that? They are really nice. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Oh, Bernice, you've got some of your dad's antique postcards? Oh, that's awesome. Mousy, yes, I am drooling over your postcards. Lavender. Hi, Marbella. Who did I miss? Oh, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have a Lois to go with Thelma? <laughs> Louise to go with Thelma? A Lois to go with Thelms. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, okay, no problem. I'm going to shoot you the link real quick. And so whenever you're ready, uh, let me get this over to Candy. That'll help because I don't want to miss any comments and opinions. And let's see here. Open, open, open. Trudy's making numinators, I saw. All right, candy, candy. There you are. Oops. Oh, crap. Touch the room. <laughs> there we go. Fat fingers tonight. And for some reason, um, it's being kind of slow. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Whenever you're ready. Let me get back out of that and back over here. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm glad I opened those so I could get them all organized in that. But those are super pretty. So I'm going to make a note, <clears throat> probably like packs of 10. Sounds um, pretty good to everybody. Oh, Trudy, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry you lost your aunt. I cannot believe it's just crazy. Um, your uncle's in Florida with Parkinson's. Oh no. Um, we just keep praying for everybody. So if you need prayers for you or family members, just just tell us. Just say the word. 
and you've got it. Got a lot of prayer warriors here who will help out with that. Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to try not to show my address all over the place. I see that it um, went blurry again. It'll focus in just a minute. Let me see if I can give it something to focus on. See if that'll work. Hey, Liz! Yep. Let's see. Some of them I know, some of them have been sitting here for a while. And I've forgotten what they are. Some of them I'm, um, I don't even know exactly what they are. Bottom sight unseen. Others are new product. So going forward in 2021, my intention, my goal for our sales are to bring you the best of the old and the best of the new. That's, I hope this crinkling isn't driving you crazy. That's, um, that's my bottom line goal. Um, we love, love, love the old vintage stuff. But we also love the new stuff. And there's some pretty cool new stuff. And, um, you know, the tools and things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, we love. So uh, my, my hunt is always for the best of the new and the best of the old. And um, well, on the new, my goal is to always be able to bring it to you at least 25% below retail. That's that's really my bottom line goal, um, you know, to, to be able to save you some money here rather than, you know, paying retail. Oh, any Alice in Wonderland fans? These are, this is a pack of postcards that are all Alice's adventures in Wonderland. I'll just whip through them. Oh my goodness. I remember ordering these. I found them. I wondered, I remember wondering how many should I get? <laughs> These are awesome, aren't they? Ah, some cool images. I hope, am I staying in, am I staying in shot where you can see the Im images, not just the words? That's what I want to give you there. Yeah. Wow. That's a large pack. That's a large pack of postcards. Yeah, we'll keep Trudy in our prayers. We keep Allison in her in our prayers. Her daughter is uh, COVID positive right now, and uh, I've already been through it with their son. So, yeah, Margie, I knew you'd be uh, Alice in Wonderland. Um, Amanda, too. Awesome, Mousy. I'd love to find a whole bunch of vintage Alice in Wonderland books. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be my goal. Yeah, these are pretty cool, huh? These are these are new. These are not, um, well, they look kind of grungy. They're not, these are not vintage. They're new made to look vintage. So I'm okay with that because I wouldn't have found these, you know, 50, 60, 80 years ago. I know, that just is not going back in there. That's so tight. So I guess that's going to be my pack. <laughs> Darn it all, right? It's slitting open all the way down as I put them in the package. So, so that is my pack. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of those. Wow. Yeah, I'd love to find a whole mess of um, vintage Alice in Wonderland um, books. That would be awesome. Uh, oh, there's more of these coming. I know there's more. So that's only one package there. That's surprising. But we've got some people on the wait list for these. But I know I ordered more than four. So that's a little bit strange. But they're different colors than we had last time. This is a dark gray like slate gray, blue gray. 
That's really pretty. And here's the blue. I had the blue last time. Uh, this one's pink. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Got a little sticky note. Uh, not a sticky note. Um, like one of those sticky feet things off the bottom of something. And this one is the um, cognac. Like that one too. Okay, so there was four in here. <laughs> Allison, you're the only one that doesn't care about Allison Alice stuff. Peter Rab. Oh, Trudy, I I do I just um I just emptied out a box of books from an estate sale and put them up on a shelf that I made today. I mean, I, I made the shelf available today, and there was some Peter Rabbit in there. So yeah. And Winnie the Pooh, Allison, you're a Winnie the Pooh. Okay, I do have um, a Winnie the Pooh journal kit coming. It's a fairly small. This one looks like I should be able to just tear it right open. Yep. Oh, this one looks fun. What ate those things? <laughs> Daughter loves Alice. Don't care about Alice. Well, good. Then you don't have to fight it, all the others for the Alice stuff. You can get something that they don't care about. Oh, I don't want to put my address all over, and I just I think I just did that. Let's see. Here's a newspaper. From, that's 1992, so not super, super old. Oh, man. Look at this. It's falling apart, but oh, I love, let me get, oh, I see that we went blurry. I uh, see. I just love the bear. I don't really craft with him. My son had his room with Pooh when he was, oh yeah. Huh. Uh, okay, come on. Focus, 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 camera. There we go. It's coming. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Oh, didn't give it long enough. Okay, cool. All right, let's get candy in here. Hey, Candy. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Let me get my a little bit there. <laughs> Just what I need to build. Oops, hang on here. All right. We have another tab open. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Try to get her closed. Yeah, give her a minute to get her stuff organized. With that's really cool paper. Um. You can tell which one's been on top. Look at the difference in the color of paper and the top of that second page there. Wow. Those are, uh, those are cool pages. I love that, that color. Not sure what this stuff is. Just a bunch of old, old papers and things that came with it. Okay, so, uh, stuff from a Masonic Temple Association, minutes and things like that. Oh, yeah. Let's see, which is the front? This is the front. Okay. Receipts and expenses. Disbursements, 1962, 1964, 1960. Okay, so it starts with 1960. 61, 62, 63, 64. And then... Is that better? Is that better? Oh, yep. Definitely better. Perfect. Okay. Can you hear the TV? I cannot hear the TV. Okay. Uh, maybe just a little in the background, but not enough to disturb us, especially okay. if you're talking. Okay. Oh, Bell. Down a little bit. Oh, I didn't know that, Allison. I had some. I had oh, some well, stuff. Still, anything gone with the wind? Oh, okay, cool. Frankly, mm. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, my dear. Okay, so. Now they're 
1970. So it started 1960. You only need like a page or two for each year. That's interesting. I do like that there's writing and then there's empty space. No, it's not packed. So you could still use those pages. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard from her. So but thank you, honey. Um, and they only wrote up to page 37, it looks like. It appears that the rest of it is blank. Okay. So that's a nice ledger for journal cover. <clears throat> There's another ledger. Wow, that's ancient. Woo, look at that color of that paper. Let me see if I can get that up here. Clyde B. Sutton, Treasurer of Cameron Mills Lodge, number 547, year of 1946. Oh, this color. This paper, yeah, this paper is just beautiful color. I love it. And you can tell the difference. Some of the internal paper, it's still brown, but it's not as brown as the outside because you can see by the letters how brown it is behind the letters because they're exposed. So let's see if this, nope, there's some writing back here. Um, I thought, well, it's on the edge anyway. They, they, they all hate it. You just need to send it to me, Marky. <laughs> you need to send it to me, Marianne. Just send it to me. Perfectly altered book. <laughs> no, no, they hate it. Oh, they hate this one. Just send it to you. Just put it in your yeah, just send it to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Nineteen fifteen. So it started like in nineteen forty something and went up to nineteen fifty nine or eight or something. So that's interesting. How pages are interspersed written on, but not every single page. Okay. Um, December 1990, building study. Okay, so this is a study on their building. So there's some architectural uh, plans in there. Engineering drawings, architectural drawings and engineering plans. That kind of thing work for you, Amanda? Everybody's like, can't he? I was hoping, Margie. Come on. Gotta... <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one's a double entry ledger. Got all the fancy scrolls there. And the leather corners. Oh, there's some ephemera in here. That one's positively ugly. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The uglier the better, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, so look at this. Somebody used to do one of our tricks and they taped an envelope right inside the front cover to slide things in. <laughs> and looks like that was taped on at one time. Here's an important notice from the IRS. Oh, it's just got their identifying, <laughs> it's got their, their IRS number on it. Interesting. I'm gonna assume they're probably not in existence anymore. Oh, this paper's nice. This paper's nice. Let's just whip through that. Okay. Ooh. 1850. Let's see where it starts. Wow. Does that include me too, Margie? You said everything old is new again. Everything, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, I'm still waiting for that day when I feel new again. <laughs> Getting older and not feeling newer. So, so far, I think the first date I saw was 1850. Uh, how can that be? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's the year. Frank Caparulo. I think that's 1950s, not 1850s. There's good enough writing and a lot of empty space to write in there if you like mixing it up with half and half. Let's see what this is. Oh, I always think we're gonna open some treasure when you get some ephemera in the middle. We're gonna time you, Liz. She said she'd be right back. Okay, cool. Let's time her. <laughs> Yeah, what is right? <laughs> Ooh, 
Grand Lodge of New York. Carrie positively hates those letters. <laughs> uh, Carrie, you should have been here last week. What was it, Friday? Last Friday night? Yeah, I, I missed the way. I mean, I didn't literally give them away, but I gave them away. I gave them away for what I paid for them. Cheap, cheap. And of course, uh, I missed that. And there's some more stuff in there. Ooh, letter to somebody. Uh, oh, look at that. There's a photograph. A bit. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it was purposefully bent like that so that all you could see was the top of them and their apron. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, but I do, I do promise to bring out some more ledgers tomorrow. So. Oh, Angie says she has a couple of 1930 ledgers and a 1649 Bible. Nice. Oh. I'm going to turn up my volume. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Okay, let me turn up mine. I, I think I turned it down too low. With okay. The and I turned mine up and I can hear you much better. Okay. Signature. Can everybody else hear me okay? Yeah, can everybody hear Candy okay? That's pretty. Got the green edge on the ledger. I like these, these ledgers. I don't know if it's supposed to be green or if it's just green with age. Or if it's green, but it wore off of that side that was exposed. Interesting. Margie says, yep, so that's all we care about. Yeah. If Margie can hear you, everybody can hear you. <laughs> Hold on, I'll turn it up a little bit. <laughs> uh, Allison didn't hear you. Allison didn't yeah, hold on. Hold on. If you can hear her now, turn up her volume. I don't want to turn mine up too loud because I think you'll hear that TV if I get it too loud. Oh, you need to turn up your volume. I need to turn up mine. Okay, can you speak louder or will that disrupt everything in the house? It will distract you. I'm right by the mic. I put the mic right by my mouth. So does that help? Yeah. It sounds very muted like Liz when you're nodding. Your voice is very loud. Hold on. <laughs> I just got to get the mic adjusted right. Is that any better? It is for me, but. I mean, I can hear you fine now. I turned my volume way up. But let's see. Oh, okay. Liz is back. Did you find me? Yeah, she was too long. <laughs> you hear that, Liz? <laughs> you were gone way too long. We had typing to good hearing. I'm sure. Well, yeah. guys, honestly, I didn't get I didn't get any notice at all. Okay, is that any better? Uh, yeah. Um, we had 29, right? And then there's people for us. Subtract those. I don't know what this is. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Uh oh. What'd you get? <laughs> Another ugly book. Another ugly book. <laughs> get this noisy box out of the way. Oh, another ugly legend. Ugly, ugly. That's ugly, just ugly. terribly ugly. Oh, <laughs> I oh, look at this. They pasted um, articles inside the front car. Uh, these are the people you like. Okay, now I can hear the. TV behind you. Yeah, so I think I got up too loud now. TV, or yeah, is that when you turn your volume up? For the mic, yeah, then you hear everything around me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, guys, I didn't give Candy any notice. I just asked her if she could jump on, so. 
you know, my fault. She could have kicked everybody out of the house. <laughs> a good thing having diarrhea or vomiting is teased a tablespoon of corn. Oh, a teaspoon of cornstarch in water or milk. Good, but <laughs> um, oh wow. Okay, so this is um this wow. This is a, wow. a say that again. I said ugly. It's just wow, ugly. <laughs> wow, I like that. This is um looks like a general store. It looks like a general store, but it's all the things. Alice's, Allison said, gee, the guy was full of blank, blank, blank. <laughs> Probably. Oh, these pages are awesome. <laughs> okay, this is 1930. Yeah. I love when they don't, don't even have to be 200 years old. They've aged like they are. Oh, and I like when it's half written in and half not because I really like the paper when the paper's aged. They all hate it. Angie said that's just terrible grunge in that book. <laughs> she just hates all the grunge in this book. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Okay, here's a bunch of, oh, geez. Don't forget to go through it. Look, here's some receipts. Oh, cool. Okay, these receipts say how many pounds of cream, test, pounds of fat, Price, amount, butter, amount of check. It's oh, it's the farmer's co-op creamery of Madison. Oh, those are cool. Farmer's co-op creamery of Madison. Those are very cool. Oh, wait, I mean those are terrible. I <laughs> really those are just as ugly as that whole book is. Yeah, nobody wants those, Marianne. More writing in here. <laughs> uh more writing in there. And then I found something else. Yeah. Okay. Here's some newspaper. Neglected, unkempt hair is indication of indifference. Oh my goodness. That's kind of hilarious, isn't it? Gift plants last with special care. We'll see you when you get back. Artistically creative. Who's that? Some uh, new name. Uh, that's um, Trudy. Trudy? Okay. Yeah. Trudy. Gotta step out for a minute. We'll be back later. All right. Trudy, we'll see you in a while. Whoop. I saw something else. Liz says she, uh, uh, no one likes that book but her. You just need to sell it to her. <laughs> Here's a little newspaper article. She Happy said, Take your hands off it, Marianne. Your hands off my book. Stop fondling my book. <laughs> the usual treatment for controlling cab cabbage worms is to pray with, spray with a solution of arsenate of lead. <laughs> uh, that doesn't even sound good. <laughs> and then eat the cabbage. <laughs> With the dead worms in it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, and then there's writing back in there. Wow. Maybe mom started at the front and dad started at the back. Oh, look at this. Oh, YouTube is not quite there. Let me make sure I'm on live so I can and live chat. Yeah, let me check mine too. Yeah, I'm sure it kept going off the other time you we were on here. <clears throat> it kept going off live for some reason. Yeah, it does. Like, look, this page on the right. This is the last page of the book. It's that. It's the bookend. Oh, isn't? Look at the difference in color. I love that. I keep saying the book, Mary. It's going to be in. <laughs> I am ever so gentle. <laughs> yeah. No, there's going to be a fight between Amanda and Liz. <laughs> Salt eater for cabbage. And then down here it says formula given for killing insect pests and non cucumber plants. We don't Salt want no poo in a shoe from Getty, Margie. Getty likes if no one else wants it, might poo in a shoe if someone does like it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, Doug gets up every morning and checks his shoes just to make sure Getty hasn't been here <laughs> after New Year's Eve. When you said you were going to Getty over. <laughs> um, Getty sounds like part of a gang. <laughs> he does. The Getty gang. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. 
1930, that's pretty old. You could get with my killer kitty. Hey, the Getty and KK, the, the Getty gang. Hey, 1930, it's within 10 years, years old. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> Margie said Getty's mole is cupcake. His mole is, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's Cece. I have the mole here. Oh. <laughs> She's I'm, a little hoe. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those microphones, Candy, that, um, that, um, there's, there's two, there's a little tiny one and there's a boom one. Research yeah. which one works best, but it uh, shuts out everything around. Talking, yeah. And it only picks up your voice. I oh. bought headphones with the mic, but I could not get them to pair with my computer tonight. Oh, no. So I did plan for that, but it didn't yeah. work. <laughs> the School Room Songster, published by the Echo Music Company, Lafayette. Hi, Judy. Oh, that's a cute book, too. That's cool. Very um, ugly, though. Okay, this is copyright 1893. Yeah, that's the kind I got. Yeah. Allison. I mean, Amanda was noise canceling with the microphone. Yeah. Which one? They just, noise uh, it was, yeah. Yeah, they just wouldn't pair tonight for whatever reason. I love the cover of this book. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's just like um, thick cardstock. And oh, I love this. Yeah, cover of the book. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see what kind of music is in here. Oh, she's going to make us stroll, ladies. <laughs> oh, oh, it's lessons for the classroom. And I were a son. Happy children. <laughs> oh, the Biden song. Or Farmer Jones. Uh, this is this is an amazing book. That Margie said we won't see that book again because you're going to keep it. <laughs> I was just thinking that to myself. Now, Mary Ann, you can't kill everything. <laughs> I'm really I'm thinking we all we all need to make a trip to Mary Ann's house and, and, and Liz will make and take over, <laughs> steal it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but we that's what it was implied. <laughs> I am trying to not want to keep everything I do, but you know, honestly. Evening, Joni. How many Welcome to the group. Hey, Joni. Oh, right. I gotta find a way to clear this. You're blurry again on YouTube. You're clear on StreamYard, but blurry on YouTube. Yeah, it'll come back in a second. Yeah, that's just weird. All right, hang on. Noisy. I agree with you, Liz. Invasion in Marianne's house is on the horizon. <laughs> oh, I bet you guys could share downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty one. I like this one. Hi, it's Judy. The blue. Hi, Judy. Okay, let's see what. Is. Okay, Liz. Liz is claiming that one. Oh, look at the turquoise. <laughs> huh, what are they watching, Candy? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I just heard the police chase. <laughs> yeah, it's a gang movie. This isn't even that old. It isn't that old, but I like it. She can't hide all the good stuff, Margie. She's got way too much of it. It's kind of, now that I have promised and committed to Donna, I wouldn't do that. The good one for coffee today. Nettie is making us hungry. She's eating fries and watching the unboxing. This really? is life, she says. <laughs> Love this life. Rice sounds really good. Like mine, 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 mine. <laughs> you distract her while can't do the heavy lifting. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Angie can't walk on her foot. So you'll get me to help her and then you'll snag the box. Right? Yeah, this is a good one. Um, there's some 
there's not much writing in it and it's not um, super old. So the pages aren't going to fall apart. They do look aged, but not nearly like some of those young ones we just looked at. And so these are great candidates for copy. That's what I would do with these. I just love the cover. I agree with you, Margie. This is a good life. Yeah, it is. It's a good group of people. Oh, amazing group of people. I mean, it hasn't even been a week since I saw you guys, and I'm missing this so bad. It's um. Uh, I just lost you. I just lost your sound for a minute. Uh oh. My computer's acting up now. I need to Wonderful. Go I just need to. Uh, I didn't need to leave the house to go to work. I just need to get online with you guys. Oh, here's a bunch of the rest of them. Yeah. Ooh, I like those. I remember you had those before, didn't you? I did, and we've got a wait list. So yeah, I think we do. I was gonna say. More than we have people on the wait list. I tried to get as more than um, than that. So we'll give the people on the wait list first option, and then, um, and maybe tomorrow night we can do that. We can take a look at the wait list and see if we can pull it by by a pencil roll. Ooh, that feels is nice. Those one, is it? Is is those the ones you had in different colors or? Yeah, um, I had okay. a before that had four different colors. Okay. And it looks okay. like ooh, all the dark coffee. Yeah. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight in here. Well, I'm still hoping that there's another package of these somewhere. So eight, and there was four in the other one. It's 12. Um. Ooh, let's do the other ones. I know that I did slit them already. Both of these, um, oh, let's get some focus. Aren't those pretty, Amanda? Amanda, you're on the wait list, aren't you? I think. I think you are. I think Liz is too. I can't even. I'm trying to find them. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the getaway car. But <laughs> and he's, we'll drive the getaway car. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're going to need a semi. Yes, you are. These are from the Stamperia box. That's where these came from. Ooh. Oh, goodness. She's teasing us again, ladies. I don't remember what I had in mind, but I thought, oh, we're going to have some fun doing some mixed media. These are silver and gold flakes little packages of silver and gold flakes. Oh. Yeah, uh, it looks like tin foil. <laughs> you can't see all the little tiny flakes. You maybe can with the gold one. Yeah, the silver one looks like tin foil. Um, I can see flakes on the box too, so I don't wanna, I'm gonna try to pull one out. I don't even know how many are in there. Um, oh, okay. So here is the box is, what is that? About three inches deep and about four inches wide. And this is three containers standing up like this of uh, silver flakes. And then the same with the gold flakes. Bridget says, don't open it. It'll go everywhere. I know. So now I'm thinking, I mean, that's that's a huge container of silver flakes. So um, am I supposed to take that and put it into smaller containers for everybody? <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to do that without having silver and gold everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That might be fun. Not. Not. Alice is a singing silver and gold, silver and gold. I don't sing ladies. Silver silver and gold. <laughs> Who's singing? Allison. All right. Don't nobody sneeze. She knows that song. <laughs> We're all wishing you luck getting that in the little little of jars. <laughs> oh, here's one that I opened just to, and I opened the box and I saw the yellow pillowcases as I told Dennis about them the other night but then I didn't get in I didn't go into the box I didn't have time to look at the box. so uh, let's look at so here's the yellow pillowcases 
that are embroidered. That's upside down. There we go. Glennis loves yellow. There's a two in there. Okay. Let's see this. This feels like a towel. This is a brand new towel. This is not. Oh, oh, for cute. Be dazzled. Be loved. Be mine. Look how cute that is. All the bees are embroidered and all the words are embroidered. How cute is Trudy, that? <laughs> Trudy said when you fill the jars, you just do it inside a paper bag. Because it'll <laughs> stick to plastic ones. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Luckily, yeah, the slightest breeze everywhere. Oh, this is yeah. so cute. This is a... Yeah, you know, that's sappy, Margie. I agree with Margie. That's a little sappy. A little what? This towel? A little sappy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's cute. It's cute. I know we've got a lot of people that love bees, so even if we take it, cut out the bees. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, that is cute. All right. What have we got here? We have some short white gloves. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, and here's some short white gloves, children's. Here is a little bag or pouch from Osaka. Oh, bad. What? what she, say? She, said, she said those are the bee's knees. <laughs> yeah, that's old. <laughs> Hi, Margie. Helen is on Facebook. Margie, if you want to go through the um, scroll there and find the link to YouTube and come on into YouTube, you'll be able to see everybody else's comments. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is a pouch from Osaka, Japan. You can see all the Japan all over the front of it. it. has all the important places. Aquarium, the temple, history, tower of the sun, uh, castle, and in I really want to know where that towel came from. Um, it came in this box, which came from, uh, and it's, <laughs> it's, I know, it's sometimes the ran most random things from an estate, you just never know. Yeah. Two. Al Allison's taking off the glove. She said we got to all back off. She wants those gloves. She wants the glove. All right. I like the gloves. Oh, here's a um, hand crocheted um, hot pad. So this is a kind, crochet two of them, and then stitch around the, or crochet around the outside to connect them. So if you wanted to, for thickness, take off the outside, have two, um, two flat ones, be flatter in a journal than, you know, rather than the thicker one. Well, this is pretty. Uh, it looks like a hot pad that somebody quilted together. Pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. You turn it fast, it do like a pinwheel. It's pretty. Cute. Um, the other side. Oh, the other side has little pockets that you can hide dollars in. Cute. That's pretty. I do like that. Oh, oh, oh. little pockets. Oh, those are cute. That's cute. They are cute little pockets, aren't they? You could slide, slide it up oh, to somebody. Oh. No. Okay. I gotta move. I gotta move something here to because it's getting too close to the camera. Liz is hyperventilating now. <laughs> All that red. Oh. oh. Who's the red? Who's the red freak? Liz. Liz. Oh. Oh, Glennis isn't even here, but look what I just, this one box has fallen open and it had looked weird, so I just pulled it open. <laughs> citrus salt. I have, on my, I have that on my wish list. <laughs> What's that? Citrus salt. Citrus salt? Yeah, for our Nat Geos. That's for the National Geographics. We're going to have some fun with those. Let's see if I can get this out of the way here. Okay. Look at this. This is cute. Nat. Oh, Margie my. Mellon is back. And Margie said hi to Margie. I know. Oh, Margie Mellon is now on YouTube. So we got Margie and Margie. Again. Um. Uh, I'm looking for package. Amanda, the citrus solve is to help pull the images from the magazines. 
look at this, how cute this is. There's the bottom. That's just too cute. This is adorable. See little chunky monkey in this. Look at these little images. I need more hair. <laughs> <laughs> chunky monkey's like a wild boy with his hair. Oh my goodness. The little boy is playing with firecrackers. Am I am I not there we are? I was not even in shot. He's playing with firecrackers. It's embroidered on. That is so cute. And the little girl is jumping rope. That is cute. But look, it always fascinated me how the um like these, they're not even buttons because they're snaps. Snaps are easier with kids. But these are yes. like they're quilling. Fabric quilling. That's what that is. Mm. Those little rolled, those little that rolls. Is so cute. Yeah. Oh, and there's bottoms. There's bottoms to go with it. These cute little bottoms. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are too cute. Um, this is definitely handmade. This is not, I mean, I, well, I can't say that because that's surged. So that might be factory made. It just, wow. You don't usually get that little elastic like that on the top with unless it's handmade. Well, there's a label in here, so that's not handmade unless somebody put it in, but it's written in Japanese. <laughs> that's <laughs> adorable. That's really adorable. Oh, goodness. Oh, what's this? Here's something. <gasps> oh, the little kimono. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the tiny baby kimono. Frog. Killing things are called frog. The boy gets to do the dangerous thing in the girl says, I know. I know, Margie. We'd have been right over there with him, right? <laughs> He's oh, not yeah. fireworks without us. <laughs> uh, oh, I did like to, I did like to jump rope though. Yeah, I did too. Or top foot. Look how cute this tiny little kimono. I do like, though, that they put both a boy and a girl on it, so either one of them could wear it. It's not like a boy's outfit or a girl's outfit. Yeah. I do like that. That's That was that's super cute. I'm going to put that back in this baggie and protect it. Darn, that's cute. I don't even know how to figure out what size. Security, I have a grandson that's just getting ready to turn five months old, but he would barely fit into that. He's a chunky little monkey. Excuse me. Yeah, that's where I agree with you. I don't think I can cut those up for a journal. No. It's going to be displayed on the wall somewhere or something, or if you don't have a grandkid to wear them. Oh, here's some prettiness. Okay, we need something solid. Sorry. Our grandbabies are the best, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, now it sounds like like somebody with a mask on. There is you can tell they have iron. Can you see the embroidery? Mm -hmm. With the holes, those are really you can kind of see that natural eight. Boom. Yeah. Oh, you did with it. 11 and 13. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. So, yeah, all employer cutouts. I know there's a name for this, and I can't think of it. I heard it. Not something I'm super familiar with. Does anyone know? Hey, my grandson turns five months five months on Saturday. He weighs like 17 pounds already. Okay, so now we can lay some of these things. 
You can just mute, mute yourself for a few seconds. <laughs> you will understand. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. What would anybody know? That's really pretty. Those clothes would probably fit Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, no, that the little Japanese outfit. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. My guess is it's probably like maybe a 4T. Yeah, that would be my guess, three, yeah. three to four. Um, and I could measure like the pants. We could measure the pants from crotch down or from the top to the bottom, but they were definitely bigger than doll size. They were they were a child's outfit. Um, what do you think this was? Interesting shape. I love the flower in the middle, and I love the blue. We don't see a lot of blue. Okay, and here's a green one. Okay, so with that one is blue. Margie, you're always brilliant with stuff like this. What do you think what would this have been back in the day? Yeah, but this is a cool thing about stuff like this is it's Easily sectioned apart to use for journals. Heard sections already. Five, six, six sections easily on that. On both of them. Margie, what do you think that was? No, one second. Okay. Oh. Collar for a blouse, maybe somebody said. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't seem to go around. You know how mm -hmm. guys like I thought, yeah, I just, Margie says for pillowcases on the edge. Oh, yeah, that's okay. a collar. So yeah, that's a collar. <laughs> so if they make these, and then they would just stitch them to a pillowcase. Yeah, this has this is one of those. Welcome back, Dawn. Glad your HOA meeting is over. Hand made in Japan. These are handmade in Japan. All these different kinds of beads. All, all these beads sewn on. That's really pretty. Okay, what else is down in this box? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What do you think? This would have been, let me think we can use our neutral background to see something neutral. <laughs> now, that looks like that could have been a collar. There's a V and it just would go out like to the shoulder. I guess the two, I guess the others could have done that too. This is really pretty though. There's, there's flowers uh, embroidered in there. That's the two of those. Okay. All right. That. Oh, oh, what is that? Nah, that was the collar for sure. Oh, look at this. Look at this hand embroidery. That's not hand embroidery, I don't think. I think that's a trim that they sewed in. That's what I think. At first glance, it looks like hand embroidery. And then the stuff on the right. As he likes it. That's super pretty. Oh, oh, I always thought that would be pretty. All right, so this is a bag, an embroidered bag. This is very cool. 
<laughs> Allison said Grouch 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 Matt Grouchy just woke up from his nap. Oh. Man, my son is a grump when he wakes up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Mar Margie, I'm sorry, I was I was admiring the stuff. Margie said those little corners were probably corners on a tablecloth. Oh. Instead yeah. Of a oh yeah. Yeah. And would this have been like a lingerie bag? Maybe, Margie? With a it's sap. Yours. It's just really pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you could totally, yeah, you could cut that into that's lots of use from that one. Okay, and I'm supposed to get better at stuff right on the bottom. There we go. Date on that. Here's an embroidered collar. Oh, that's pretty. Come stuck on this paper, like adhesive. So <laughs> peel it off and put it on whatever. Yeah, that is that is cool. Well, there was a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, it was definitely bigger than a um, for some age of toddler or young child. But everybody has grandkids that are toddlers. If I tell you like the the measurements or the length of a um you know like the top of the pants to the bottom of the pants, could you would you know like what um oh, oh, what size it is? No, I wouldn't. I mean, I mean, you could probably go and figure it out. It's been too long. I don't even remember. Yeah, me too. I haven't bought toddler clothes in a long time. Though Chunky Monkey probably be in toddler clothes shortly. <laughs> really? I hate buying them clothes in there because they grow out of them so fast. Yeah, he does. Diapers. We can't even get through a whole thing of diapers. Yeah. And those things are expensive. <laughs> Bunch of wrapping paper that has cactuses on it. Anybody want to fussy cut cactuses? Cacti? Not me. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're the weirdest people, aren't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the king is due. That writing, that's that calligraphy. Yeah, that's a cool tag. And a cool key. Yeah. Yeah, I love the tags and the key. It has two keys on it. Okay, so you want the backstory on this one? This one's made out of fabric. That's crazy. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, this key was to the front door of the cotton warehouse. Oh, cotton. <laughs> okay, so this came from South Carolina. This alien hill farm in South Carolina used to so many thousand acres um, were owned by a cotton farmer back in plantation days. And, and, um, I'm hoping that some of the ledgers are in here. Right? Um, I know somebody that bought this farm and found in the attic. This this tag is fabric, and it says "Alien, Matthews, Carolina." These, these, these are oh, just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, you keep you keep cutting in and out. I thought it was just me, but Margie says she she's having the same problem. So I'm wondering if it's the background noise. I don't know, but it looks like you totally your voice totally goes away and I can't hear anything. Um mute for a minute. Let me keep talking and see if it still keeps happening. Okay, guys, I will keep talking and you tell me if it still keeps happening if I'm cutting in and out. Um yeah, those are some really old keys. That one says Royal on it. 
Nettie. There's one that says Royal. I love how some of these tags are fabric. That's really cool. That one's the Lynn House. Okay, so this, um, so this person who bought this plantation, huge, awesome plantation house, and in the attic, they found um, all kinds of stuff, all the stuff from the old plantation owner way, way back. Look at that. Here's a very cool key and fabric, um, fabric tags. So this plantation owner had over a hundred African Americans working on his farm, and there are ledgers. See, these are fabric, plastic fabric. Um, these are cool keys. Uh, there are ledgers. Um, dating back pigeon house key uh, um, dating back to on oh, there's the seed house back to that time he would carry these small ledgers in his shirt pocket where he would log all day long like how much cotton people picked and you know everything that was happening during the day and then he would go home at night and he would transfer everything into his great big ledgers you know, those great big ones that we buy um key to the gate leading to something to wear in place. Um, and so they found, they found all his ledgers and records and receipts. There were receipts back selling cotton and, you know, railroad receipts and, and um, all the things that they bought and all the things that they sold way, way back. Um, I didn't buy any of the receipts because they wanted too much for them. And I honestly didn't think that you would even want to pay as much as they were asking for them. So that would put me in the hole. <laughs> so, um, and with shipping, this whole bag is just old, old keys, as is this one. Let's just dump it out. Oh my goodness. Wow. Steampunk coolness. Here we come. Um, check this out, these locks. So they found all these old ledgers way back from when he was the plantation owner um, recording everything. It was amazing. I wonder if any of these keys fit these Yale locks. Man, don't these locks look cool? Look at this. I'm not even going to clean them up because they're just neat. There's three of those. And keys of every kind. There's a couple of different ones. Okay, so I've been talking and Candy's been muted. Um, Margie, am I still cutting in and out? It is a lot of history here. And their plantation being like 1,200 acres you can imagine how many houses they had or how many buildings they had on there. All these keys are to different, different gates and different, um, uh, different houses, you know, the seed house. What's that one? I'd have to look at it really hard because a lot of it's in pencil. Um, a certain barn back door. The red brick house, the pigeon house, the gate at Waring Place. Oh, that other one was Waring Place. I recognize that. The seed house. So all the things that they had on, on the plantation. The Lynn house. He had keys to everything. Wow. It, that is cool. Let's see. All right. So I want to know if uh, the old keys are cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's kiss. Uh, back, 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 back the truck up. So it's me. Does it look like I'm going to do my job to you tonight? Did it go away? Has to be background noise because you're fine by yourself. Okay. All right. Oh, well, then, Candy, you'll just have to be snarky in the comments. Um, very gone with the windish. Yeah, this is, isn't it? That whole plantation. It's what it made me think of. And there's a couple more boxes from them. Um, I can't wait to open. 
Okay, well, this had to have been huge for all those. Yeah, it was huge. It's like 1,200 acres. So they have sold off some of it and have it down to 200 acres. And that's what they're 200 acres, just a small plantation. And, and I FaceTimed with them to look at some of these things that I purchased. And just looking at the plantation house as they, um, you know, moved around the room or I saw behind, you know, through the, the door to the next. Oh, I love those old plantation houses. They are so cool. The big um, study and then there's the parlor. It actually had one of those great big parlors and it opened up into the library or study, whatever you want to call it, which was completely lined with bookshelves and most of them had glass front doors so um it protected the books there were books from 16 1700s and it protected them all oh now my hands are all dirty from the keys and i don't know where my wipes are because wait a minute they might be could they be? Nope, they're not. Okay. I don't know where my baby wipes are. So um, if there comes something that I don't want to touch because I think my hands are too dirty, I'm wiping them on my pants. Just reseal that box and send it here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, so they had a big old parlor and then the library, the study. Oh, man. Um, let's see. I'm going to do this this way because my address is on the front. Most of you have my address, but who knows who else, you know, comes in and don't need to give it to any creepers. Okay. Oh, nice. Here's another ugly one, Candy. Just ugly. We get the stuff grubby, we get a discount, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, here's another really ugly. <laughs> it's too bad that we all know the uglier the better. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is cool. On the inside cover, the bookends have the um, postal charges. So it tells you what uh, fourth class is. <laughs> Um, and the rates on fourth class, uh, library books, Alaska, Hawaii, Philippines, special handling, blah, 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 all those things. Wow. Third class. All right. So then it starts writing. There's a lot of names, a lot of names on there. Let me just go like this and see if we can. Maybe do kind of like this. How I'm looking for a date on this one. Um, I'd have to go back to my book and look at my notes when I purchased it if I don't see a date here. Because I think I got dates on everything. I think almost everything. Okay, I'm not seeing a date, any dates yet. Just lots of names and maybe how much money they owe me, huh? All right, let's see. 1934. Yeah, this is one of those uh, early 1900s that looks like early 1800s. I like these pages. And they're all written in pencil. They used pencil a lot back then, didn't they? But I think that's really cool because when you put these in a journal, we can write in pen and literally write right over them right over the top of it. Repurpose it. It feels kind of neat to, to be writing over somebody else's writing. It's kind of connecting to them. No idea who they are. Is that weird? <laughs> um, so there's a, a person's name at the top of each page. And so that's their going to be their account. I'm looking for any ephemera and stuff that's in inside. A good mix of written on and not written on. There's something in the back. West Nashville, Tennessee, November 9th, 1936. Lumber and cross ties. That's what he bought. 
And he did some of that uh, ledger math, Margie, inside the back cover. <laughs> Help, in case of accidents, it says on the top of the back. Yeah, so it's another ugly one. Okay, all you creepers get lost, really. <laughs> Quit with the ugly books. Ah, five finger discount. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> No pens. The pens they had then were fountain pens. Yeah. Yeah. But with the fountain pens, they did get that really cool calligraphy style um, writing that I love. Okay. How can I do this? I'm going to do this. <clears throat> to pull this over and see if I can get my address out of the picture. <clears throat> um oh i know what this is this is not old this is brand new do we want to finish do some more old stuff before or do you want to just mix it up whatever box comes whatever box is next we see or you want to go through all the old estate stuff before we get into something brand new oh, i hope i don't cut into this and, uh, This is brand new. This is from Sweden. Just open it. Yay! I know. I am too. I, I mean, I haven't seen it in real life. <clears throat> this I'm super excited for. I've been waiting, waiting for it. In fact, I emailed her two days ago and said, I don't have any tracking information. Can you give me any information on this? And she emailed me back the next day. And said, yep, it was shipped on this day and it's set to be delivered today. And when I read the email, I had literally just picked it up off the front porch 10 minutes before. <laughs> it was funny. All right. So that goes there. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous. These are really, there's a lot of them. I will hold a few of them up closer so you can see. I just want to get them all out of the box because the box is really awkward. And toss the box. Where's the box going? Doing a lot of boss, box tossing tonight. Okay. It's a sheet um, of images that you can cut out and use. Let's see. I'm going to work on the light a little bit. Of course, they're in plastic sleeves, and the light isn't going to like that. But this one is called Images from the Past. That's ah, cool. Look at those old cars. If you're going to do something for Father's Day, this is a cool one. Not to mention some steampunk. Even the men, even the men could work for steampunk. Um, we'll go through these in detail when we bring them out at the sales. So let's just kind of whip through. This one's called Images from the Past. They're, oh, this one's called The World Awaits. They're all images from the past. The first one was Mr. Tom's Treasures. This is uh, The World Awaits. I thought this made great steampunk. Great steampunk stuff there. Okay. These are Hilder von Fur, Barn Children. Barn children, they don't look like they're in a barn, but they're sure cute. They are just vintage, vintage children, children's. Got a fuck my old lady hairs off my face. What? The rest of my Oh, wow. Here's the pink one. It's slipping out there. This one is called Sweet Memories. Oh, look at the kitty cat, Margie. 
here in the basket on the left. So cute. And look at the little puppies in the envelope. How cute are they? Friends are the sunshine of life. So true. Another Mr. Tom's Treasures. Uh, springtime. Look at these. The vintage pictures of these kids. These are just, just precious. Just precious. Wow. When we bring them out at the sale, I will take one out of the plastic because there's nothing worse than having that glare and trying to see the pictures. This is congratulations from Grandma's Attic. Same one. This one's called Little Sweeties. I guess I should look at the... If I don't get some of that paint, I'll never speak to you. <laughs> okay, Allison, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, they are so cute. Those kitties are cute. And my computer is officially drooled over. <laughs> Is you still on? We really need to make that trip. Uh, grab the lookout and start my way and pick me up. <laughs> uh, these will be sold by the sheet because the pack is all of the same. And so I ordered like a certain amount of sheets so that you wouldn't have to buy a whole pack. You can, you can get like a sheet of this and a sheet of that and a sheet of the other. And I don't remember, but oh, I got, ugh. I can tell you what I think I'm remembering, but if I'm wrong, don't hold me to it. But that, you know, that's horrible. This one's called Bouquet. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Um, if, if my memory is right, I think they were about 350 a sheet. I will have to double check that. Springtime. Oh, we have that one already. It's just another one. Here's um, Mother's Day. Aw. Aw. Wow, how precious all the moms with the little... Little girls and little boy. There's some little boys in there. Those are really precious pictures. And that one's Mother's Day as well. Yeah, so did I do good on that one? <laughs> I was so excited about these. See, there's enough for everybody. Yeah. Yep, and that's exactly it. Um, each one of these is multiples of the same one because I, I knew... I mean, like me, I just want a sheet of each one. So, yep, you can share them all. No war, world crafting war, yeah. My goal is not to war, but to make peace and share. So I try to get enough for everybody. Okay. Uh, here's one, let me keep it up here until we get past the address. Oh, darn it. It's going to be another ugly one. Damn. Package that one. Tight. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I try to keep the bubble wrap and reuse the bubble wrap. I don't like throwing it away. I like upcycling. And uh, so if you're, you know, if you have bubble wrap and it has tape on it, <laughs> that's why. And I always appreciate when I get a package and I can tell that somebody's um, upcycled a plastic bag that they put something in or the bubble wrap. I appreciate that. I'm not going to worry about this paper, though. What is this? Oh, that's what that is. Cool. 
great trains of North America. Um, this had lots, lots of good pictures of trains, black and white illustrations, um, colored pictures, all different kinds of trains, all the railroads. That's why I got this. Oh, look at that back. That's cool. Yeah, steam engines. Coffee, it's too late, you're off tomorrow. Why not? Girl gone wild. Yeah. Uh, nope. Doug's not going to make a journal with the train stuff. I suppose he could look at it first, though, huh, Margie? Uh, are you leaving? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah. So, who all is um, who all's doing train journals and um, historical that kind of? There's a lot of good stuff in there, new and old, on the trains. Railways of Canada. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Coming up right here. No, not that one. That one. That's a cool picture, isn't it? Back east. I saw northwest. That's another cool picture right there. The logging engines. Okay. So is anybody doing uh, train stuff? I'm riding a little train and rolling down the tracks to the junction. Oh, Petticoat Junction. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a long time ago. That takes me back to childhood. Jeez. Oh, okay. I really should have brought a trash can right over here. I can make it into that box. All right, so that's the train book. All right, I got two stacks of books. Oh, in um, in observance of our all about for January, I got some organizational things from an estate sale. I'll just show you a couple. I got a number of these. Let's see if we've got, uh, let's see. We got focus. Make sure we're focused. Yeah, because this is, this is um, clear, so it might be a little harder for camera to folks focus on it. <clears throat> Oh, that's right, Angie. I knew that worked for Union Pacific. I know that's so cool. Okay, yeah, this thingy, it's got four sections and they're stuck together. It is it is uh, not hollow in the middle. There isn't a hole there. It's solid, so it holds them all together. And I actually, look at this. I actually put one of them on my desk full of gel pens. So you can put um, paint brushes and pens and pencils, um, your rulers and all some long tools that you like to keep at your desk handy. Or if you have a shelf that you organize things on, it is a cool thingy. I don't know how many of them I have, but I do have more than one. Um, I There's at least there's at least five. There might be six or more. I don't know. Um, and they weren't they weren't very expensive. You'd probably pay a bunch for them, huh? But they were like four fifty. So I got that because I thought, well, 
normally I wouldn't, it's kind of big and bulky, but we can make it fit in a box. And um, because we're all focusing on organization in January, I thought this is a good month to do that because that can really help out with the organization. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, and here's another one. There was three of these. So this is um, black and white. Wait till it gets here. I don't know how well it's going to show up trying to show you because it stands up like this and holds, has like file sections. Make sense? Trying to trying to put it, find an angle where you can actually see what's going on there. <laughs> and like there's the there we go. There's the bottom. I think there was three of these. You know, I have I have a ton of magazine um, holders like this on my shelves, and most of the time. They're on their backs instead of on the bottom like that. I don't know if that would work for this. It might, actually. It might. But I put my magazine holders on their back and so I can slide things into them. Um, so there's three of those. So those will be good for organization. And I know that those are really expensive um, retail, but they were, um, yes, it'll hold 12 by 12 for sure. I did check that out. Um, who makes them? It might even be We Are Memory Keepers. I don't remember. But um, I'm looking for a piece of 12 by 12 paper. Here's an 8.5 by 11. Okay, so there's an 8.5 by 11. If I turn it on its side to go in and it's all the way to the back, there's a good 3 inches. So it, you could 12. So 12 with like an inch and a half to spare. So it'll hold 12 by 12 easily. Yeah. Um, but, you know, of course, because they were, oh, and they've got these little tabbies up on top. So you can put, you can mark what's in each section. That's cool. Um, they're not going to be near what the retail price is because, because they were the state. Okay, here's another one from the plantation. I want to get to those. I'm always afraid to cut into boxes because if they pack like I do, something's liable to get cut. And that always makes me nervous. I spend money on stuff and then cut it when I'm opening the box. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. That's a little golden book that is so old that the spine isn't even gold. I mean, the gold foil. Now they're gold foil. The spine is gold, golden brown, but it's not gold foil. <clears throat> my first book. I do want to see what the year is on this. This book belongs to Catherine Wanamaker. 1942. I would have expected it to be older than that even. Uh, the Shy Little Kitten. And this one is 1946. It's still old. I don't know if we've had others that are that old. I get a lot from the 50s and 60s, but not um, usually that old. Pleasant Tragedies of Childhood. That looks like a little girl doll crying. <laughs> look at these pages. Um, look inside the back cover. There's the little girl stamp. There's a little boy. It's kind of cool, just on the bookends. But it's in front, too. No, it's not. Um, oh, look at that. That's a cool picture. When you see a plate like this right up front, it's usually indication that there's lots of great plates throughout. 
Okay, this one is copyright 1901. Pleasant tragedies of childhood. Mysterious ailment. Can you see the picture of this little girl down here with her mysterious ailment? Thank you. So light. I think you can see it, but it's, it's printed so light. Do I miss? Cool, thank you. So she's um, bemoaning her mysterious ailment. Oh, look at these plates. Wow. Okay, there's a poem and there's a plate. Oh, the next one is the bath. And on the other side, there's a poem and a, oh, wow. Look at these pitcher plates. Giving the child a bath. Wow. <laughs> he went to school with a watermaker. He was a jerk. <laughs> this this is cool. These picture plates are really cool. This paper is super thick. Super thick. There's the Gerber baby. The first tooth. Isn't that the Gerber baby down there? Sure looks like it. The first tooth. Can't wait to see the picture plates on each one of them now. Oh gosh. This is really neat. Um, and this is, wow. The, you can see, oh, we just went blurry again. Give it a second. Give it a second. I know there's not a lot to focus on because some of these pictures, I mean, some of the pages don't. Let me get over to a picture. There we go. Okay, come on. Focus. Okay. Okay, so these pages, these signatures are sewn in with great big stitches. And the sewing, um, the, the um, thread is loose. They're not falling out, but it's loose. So it'll be really easy to take apart. Oh, look at the colicky baby. This is hilarious. I gotta hurry through this. We could be forever. We're not gonna get the other boxes undone. I'm supposed to try to be done by eight. I still have to film a walkthrough of a Paris journal tonight close. Okay, so here's a question for you. This book will be really easy to take apart because the signatures are all sewn in. You can see the thread there. Uh, after which grandfather should he be named? Oh boy. Do you want to see this book as a whole? This won't be a cheap book. Um, or do you want me to take it apart and each one of these come together, like Baby's First Christmas. You get the poem on the other side. You get the book plate that has the picture of Baby's First Christmas, and then the back of that one's blank, which is really nice that they didn't do front and backs of those. And so they could go in, um, you know, when grandpa comes, the poem, the picture, baby visits his little cousins. So there's a book plate with Wow, those are they're great. I'm telling you, these are some of the coolest images. Um, there's an image, a, a book plate for every single category, and every category has a poem. So would you want to see them taken off in sections like that, um, or the whole book? <clears throat> Let's see, sale is tomorrow. Sale is tomorrow, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, when we're done, I'll go in and put in the event. Uh-oh, Gigi got kicked off. Trudy sells on Friday nights at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, architecture. We will have architecture tomorrow. I promised Amanda. So if anybody else is interested in architecture, um, yeah, I already wrote that one down. Cool. Uh, we'll have that tomorrow night. Nobody wants these things. Just send them to me. <laughs> Somebody has to fight you for them. Speaking her first piece. Aw. That trash wouldn't be healthy for you, so take them for you. Yeah, so give me some feedback. What would you, how would you like to see this? Do you want, um, I told Eliza Marianne we'd marry when I was a man. I told her just how glad she'd be to marry such a man as me. But now we've quarreled. Guess that I will go to war and maybe die. <laughs> oh, when the painters were at work. 
Um, how would you like to see them? I already have one foot in the grave. I'll save you candy and take them. <laughs> On the farm. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, these are great, great plates. And there's lots of them. As you can see here, there is lots of them. Every occasion that they could think of. So, yeah, that's an amazing book. Amazing, amazing book. Okay. Okay, so all the pink stuff goes to me, all the red stuff to Liz, and Candy gets the books. That wraps up. Oh, uh, I know, Candy, I had to read that one because it was more, but all the others are so nice. <laughs> Somebody pop in Marianne's email. Newbie can send email before sale. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um, let me do that right here. Oh, Candy, you're still um, you're still blue as a mod. Can you put in Marianne's craft design? Marianne's with an S, craft design at Gmail. Okay, this is called Boy's Own Book. Oh wow, a series of entertaining stories and pictures for our little men. Oh my goodness. I don't know, guys. Some of these may not make it to sale desk. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay. These plates are so old and so cool that when you look at them and you turn them at an angle, you can see the glint. It's, oh, look at this, just wearing off. Katie's pigeons. Wow. Every single page. Oh, look at that. Look at this next one. Every single page has a book plate. Oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> this one might not make it to sale until I get a chance to scan some of these in because I want to create some digitals for you guys. And there are some amazing Oh, amazing images in here that I could put in digitals for you so everybody could have them. Wow. These are, and some pages have more than one. Every single page has, every single page has a book plate and some of them have more than one, a smaller one on the other side. That blows me away. Of course, you know, when I saw it, I didn't get to see every single page, so I didn't know that. Um, that book will do that and the keys. <laughs> and Amanda gets blue. <laughs> Margie gets all the new stuff. <laughs> oh, Hallie's dividing everything. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to make some digitals for you guys. Um, some you know, different things that we could use for projects. And this has so many good plates in it. That'll be in. Now, I think that the, um, I don't have a date on this. And that's because I'm pretty sure that the page that has the date is this page right here. It's torn in half. I'm sure it's at the bottom of that. But I can look it up and see what I can find because it's um, pretty obvious that this is really, really, really old. I hope scanned images will come out. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, Mary, I quit looking at everything and just hurry. All right, this is called Sunny Days of Childhood and I'm looking for a date. Did they not put dates sometimes way back in the day? Oh. Look at that plate with the train coming up right there. Tiddlywinks ride. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can see the sheen on those two. Again, every single page has a book plate. Wow. This has all kinds of different stories in it, and the stories have book plates to match. Oh, 
All right. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. This one is um, Darcy, D R C D apostrophe A R C Y with the A capital capitalized D R C P Wanamaker from Grandma Duncan, December 25th, 1897. So this book was given for Christmas, 1897. It's a Christopher Columbus gift book to instruct and amuse our young readers. Um, doesn't have a date, but we know that it was at least um, prior to Christmas of 1897. Wow. Again, another one with every single page having the book plate. The Moon and the Stars. Aww. Wow. These are amazing books, guys. These are amazing. Wow. Pretty good artist. Maybe they maybe they put that over the top of a map and um, traced it. <laughs> That's a pretty good, pretty good drawing there. Oh. Look at those ladies. There's a couple places where I noticed a child colored. <laughs> and I'm wondering if the, the old crayons being waxy enough, if I might be able to get them off. See, I'm, I'm able to scrape the top layer of that off right there with my fingernail. So I wonder if I very carefully could get, uh, that's the second place I saw where a child colored on a, uh, if we lose two pictures out of this whole book, that would be, there's one coloring the whole thing in. Be amazing because there are so many, so many. That's a cool one. All right, that has to be one of my favorites right there. The monkey. <laughs> I like monkeys. I like monkeys. Another paper. Some little water maker. Okay, jeez, that is really neat. They are cool, aren't they, Donna? Welcome. Don't know when you came in, Donna, but hi. Friend, oh, you have a friend named DRC? DRC? I've been threatened. Oh, she has smart aleck mods. It's not so easy. Oh. Uh. Bring you either guest last tomorrow. I'll fix you too. <laughs> Jeez. Fighting over the stuff. The prints in that book are amazing. Yeah. Um, I had to go back to read. My mom named my sister's baby. Oh, what? She named you after your sister's baby doll? And she was named Candy Cane? Ah. Yeah, thankfully she changed the spelling and gave you her middle name. <laughs> oh, man. Mods, be nice to Allie. She's our friend. <laughs> be nice to Allison. Don't make her leave because you're <laughs> really, she is our friend. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, number one scan. Yeah. <laughs> it was sharing, they got nasty about it. Maybe they didn't like the way you were divvying it up, Candy. <laughs> She's like, one for you, three for me. One for you, three for me. All right. We're going to hurry. I'm supposed to be done here in five minutes. We might have to just do, we might have to do um, another unboxing video because you can't rush this stuff. Won four whole dollars. That not make you did? Nice. Ah, uh, we love Ali. We love Allison. Yes, we do. Yeah, you can't rush this stuff. So we might have to do another um, unboxing. 
because they're still at least five boxes to open. Ooh, it's a little ledger. This would have been like the ledger the plantation owner put in his um, pocket. You could hide money right down in the cover there. Slip a little tip in for the auctioneer, huh? <laughs> okay. So, so they would write the name of the person and then the page number that you'd go to to find that per person's um, record. So it might be that, okay, now here it is. So, he did cut out some pages. Oh, there's page 25. So when you're back here and you see like this person's name, page 35, this person, page 38, that way he wouldn't have to, you know, this person comes into the store to buy stuff or whatever his business is. Um, he wouldn't have to go through the entire book, look into that person's page. You can go right to the front, find out the page they're on, go straight to their their record paid in full lots of names lots and lots of names that's cool i know genealogists get these and especially from particular areas um, <clears throat> to search for names and more of that ledger math on the back cover um this was I want to say, well, I don't know how many years this spanned. Oh, come on. <laughs> Talk loud for Mar or for Trudy, huh? <laughs> You're really mad you need your sleep, Amanda. <laughs> uh, yep. While you guys are all arguing, Amanda's going to sneak in and take it all. I'm looking for the date. Okay, 1931. 1931 is where I think it starts. I think that's the earliest date I've seen so far. Yeah, okay. So that's um, a leather, red leather journal. Red edges on the page. Ooh, and here, oh, okay, this is cool. This is a regular day book journal, but look, it's flexible because it looks just like the hard ones, but this is fabric over like um, uh, brown craft cardstock kind of stuff. It's thicker than, it's not like brown craft paper. It's uh, thicker than that and it's kind of coated. And then there's uh, fabric over it on the outside. So if you wanted to use it as a journal and you wanted to, it to be hard, you could just put a book plate and the, you know, a, um, what do you call them? Just put a cover plate, you know, a piece of chipboard um, here, glue it right to that, and then you'd cover the inside with whatever you're covering it with. Here's some of that cool, and oh, multiple people writing in this one. See all kinds of different handwriting. This paper is aged really nicely. This looks cool. I don't think I would even coffee dye this. It looks old enough, and it's also brown enough. So that's a cool one. That's 1914. And this one is 1913. And it is also a fabric, a fabric cover. So it's flexible. And uh, is this? No. Okay, this one's, yeah, 1913. Some odds and ends in there. Now I'm just trying to hurry. Oh, I love this paper. I love these tall ones because you this you see how aged this paper is. And you can take it out, cut it in half, or I don't cut it. I would just tear it with a ruler <clears throat> and get actually two pages out of that uh, because it's so tall to make journal pages. Aren't these gorgeous? 1913. Oh, love that writing right there. Look at the bottom of the bottom of the page there. You can see all this natural. Yeah, I wouldn't coffee dye these. These are these are beautiful. Beautiful on their own. 
All right. This is the Merchant's Complete Bill Register from South Bend, Indiana. Indiana. Oh, I'm so sorry, Allison. So sorry. Go take something for it. Elevate it. See you tomorrow night. Love you. Okay. Uh, something about the freight rates. And this is 1914. Oh, wow. I just love this writing. I just, I, it's, I just can't get past the fact that this was their everyday writing that I would love to be able to do on special occasions. <laughs> National Tailoring Company. Um, What's that? I think that's a three, $13. It's just cool how that was just their everyday writing. Yeah, Allie's retreating and pretending like she's not feeling well so she can plan a takeover for tomorrow night. Look at that writing. This is a nice thick one, lots of pages. I love this because I would love to write on a page next to this calligraphy type writing and there's plenty of room to write. That says bill register on top, which is nice. They don't always, so it's a little bit different. Some pages are full. Some pages aren't. Oh, look, there's a bug. I'm going to leave the bug in there for you. <laughs> oh, you can use him to make a specimen card, a specimen slide. Oh, I got some specimen slides too, some real ones. It just reminded me of that. Okay, this is the same all the way through. It is, this is gorgeous writing. Gorgeous writing. I don't know. Uh, on gorgeous writing like this, vote. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave it together or take it apart so everybody can get some pages. What do you, what's your opinion of that? Okay, we'll make this the last one. And then we're going to have to do another live somewhere. But I grabbed this one because this one's also from the plantation. Yeah, I'm a bug from 1916. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, at least you know it's completely dried. You won't get any guts. Oh, yeah, you won't squish any guts out of it, Amanda. At least you know it's dry. So, okay, anybody put opinion in there? Do you, would you like to see that one whole? Or would you like to take it apart so that everybody can get some pages? Liz says apart. Don says pages. Amanda just says I'll take it. She'll take the bug. Bug it all. Nobody else wants a bug, so Amanda will take the bug, right? Okay, here's another one of his ledgers. Oh, if I go through every one of those, we're going to be here forever. Doug's going to be knocking at the door. Okay, I love that paper. You know, it's not written on. I don't even have to copy dye it. Okay, here's another ledger. Um, so this one, look at the corners. These corners are kind of cool here. Not the not the leather one. This one. Look at those. They look almost identical, except the leather corner and the um, what do you call this? The you know elegant corner. Let's share pages. <laughs> my box called it. Any plantation box is my box, right? Amanda will share with me, right? <laughs> The two of us. Okay. So this one has the brown leather in the corner. Oh, man. This is cool because these are aged pages 
with, oh, no, there's writing on that one. Oh, this is different. This is, oh, okay. This is his records of the cotton that was picked, uh, the plow, the corn. Um, I can't tell what that is. It says 05 and 06 um, cotton. So that tells him uh, how much cotton was picked by each person, what, um, what was plowed, how much was plowed by each person, um, how much corn was picked, whatever the other things are. Wow. That's amazing. Just rows of numbers. There are no names, no names at all. Just um, the numbers in the rows. Nothing more to see here. It's a done deal. Goodbye, good night. Amanda's sharing it with me and we're good, right? <laughs> um, this is 1892 to 1893. And it had a fabric spine and a thick, thick um, paper, cardboard of some kind. It's it's coated cover. Oh, that's the back. Is that the front? Huh? No. Okay. They probably started. Well, they wrote upside down in that one. That's funny. Probably started on the wrong end. Nope. Here it is. Just wrote upside down on one page. Wow. Wow. This paper so looks so old. So old. 1892. I guess it is pretty darn old. Oh, look, some handwritten notes in there. Wow. So what I like is that there's so many different types of ledgers. Whatever kind of ledger you like. Whatever kind of ledger you like. This is 1885. Oh. Look at the aging on that page. Oh my goodness. These are amazing grunge. Even the ones not written on, amazing grunge. And look at the red edges. Love these red edges. That's cool. Nothing to see but ugly books. <laughs> oh. Um, actually he is Liz because I told him we'd be done at eight because I still have to film the, um, I have to need to do something with him and then I need to film a flip through of the Paris journal. So yeah, he just texted me. Uh, it's after eight o'clock. <gasps> Night, Trudy. Let's see adult hair. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. Okay. Um, here's another one. One of the paper, oh shoot, where's this one from? This is, it's, oh my goodness. Okay, this is probably the grungiest journal pages I've ever seen. These are dark, aged, and grungy. A 1894. And you can still read it, and it's in pencil amazing. These pages are, wow. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Oh, here's a giant one. The Farmer's Accountant. Oh, this is some of my favorite. I love these marbled pages. So here, all right, quick flip. Let's see if we've got the year here. Farmer, planter, or rancher. A practical, arranged for the practical details of business every day. Uh, 1897. 
doesn't look like he ever used this one. Pages are numbered. Oh, what's cool about this though, I'm okay that he didn't use it because look at this. I'd say probably take this apart so we can, everybody can share them. But here's a page that says uh, bank statement and then statement of grain sold. Right there. Statement of grain bought. Statement of stock sold. Stock being like cattle. Yearly stock statement, hay statement, egg statement, poultry statement, yearly poultry statement, fruit. I'm flipping uh, tobacco statement. I'm flipping lots of pages now. Statement of expenses, statement of miscellaneous expenses, statement of hired help, due by others. Okay, so that would be a cool one to break up and let everybody have like one of each. All right, last couple books and we're done. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, oh. I almost feel like I should just be silent looking at this. Ah. Okay. Guys, this is a fabric scrapbook. This is fabric. It's a scrapbook. It is a fabric scrapbook. Um, the edges are cut with um, pinking shears. Some of them are torn and just worn off. Some of them there's writing down by the pictures, cutting out of magazines. Um, some, and some there's handwriting with a pen by the pictures. We will go through it more in um, detail. Wow. When we bring it out, um, wow, I that, that's all I can say. Um, just wow, a fabric, each page is fabric, so it's got to be, it's just one big signature. That was the center page there, wasn't it? Yeah, stitched. Maybe that's not the center page. Oh my gosh. The edges, the fabric is just falling apart. But the images in here are incredible. Lead us not into temptation. Letters of credit. This over here, who is to blame? Oh. Careful, careful, careful. Oh man, like look at the edge of this page. I, I wow, look at this. I am being very careful with this. Texas girl, this is one of the coolest things ever. The love that never died. Wow. Wow. I don't know. Might be a while before that makes it off my shelf. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. Um, librarians used to compile these for the patrons. A fabric glue book. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen one of these in real life. Wow. Hey, y'all know that Donna is my sister. I think you did. I think you. I think she's been in here before. Margie's to blame. It's all Margie's fault. What state is it from? Um, South Carolina is the plantation that I bought it from. 
and yeah, South Carolina. It doesn't have a year on it. I didn't look close enough to see if any of the articles do. I didn't, at a glance, I didn't see a year on any of them because they cut some articles out of the paper or something. And um, look at this. This is called Children All. Now I'm hurrying because Doug is waiting. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these great plates. Children All, a book of stories and verses for little people. All right, this is another one that there's going to be images on every page. There's uh, images around every, um, every poem that, on every page. But then look at these full-size book plates. Oh. oh, and there's nothing on the back. I love it. Oh. Look at that cat one, all you cat lovers. <laughs> Time to head off to Utah, huh? <laughs> uh, what's the choice I made? Yeah, the other Margie right now. I missed the choice from Margie. Oh, that's cute. Look at this one coming up with the umbrella, the inverted umbrella. Look how cute that is, the wind. Oh man, the little squirrel beggar. Look at the little flower fairy. Oh, way back then, a flower fairy. Guys, I got some flower fairies coming too. Oh, these are so precious. So precious. Well, at least the kid drew on the back, back here and not all over the pictures. All right. Mother Goose Melodies. Okay. This is so old. You can see into the paper on both sides and a layer of like cheesecloth in between it. And it's like it's decoupaged to all stay together. But they're, they don't, they're not flexible. So each page is like that. That's gonna be a cool one too. Um, Cinderella or the glass slipper. Be careful not to turn these too many times. The fox and the farmer. Looks like there's several in there together. Gems from Mother Goose. Oh, little Jack Horner. Look at the gold on that. That's cool. Should see more book plates on this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty going faster than YouTube is. Wow. And the last one here is called what is that? D O R B. It looks like Dorb Gallery or Bible stories. How come I don't know what Dorb means? That's a cool cover though. Uh, again, belonged to Jack Wanamaker. Um, was given to Jack and Robin from Aunt Lolly on Christmas of 1913. <laughs> yeah, some of those Mother Goose images. Way back. Golly, look at this. Move those up some. Door, D O R E, M. Paul Gustave Door. This is 1884, the Doré Gallery of Bible Stories. Um, oh, the edges of the pages have gold on them. The pages are super thick. So even with one page, you can see the gold. I'm just, I'm, I don't really want to even turn every page. Um, so I'm flipping through a couple of them. These are full page. Wow.
Those are cool images too. And there's the back cover to that one. Whew. Well, that's that's a, a good one to end on, isn't it? This the first glue book, <laughs> fabric glue book. Um, those others were oh, I'll have to look at the others from him about that time and see what the dates on them were, but. Um, 18, 1890 something is probably a good guess for that. Let's see, Kent Butterfield is where the last name came from. He's a pastor and she's a writer in North Carolina. Mm -mm -mm. Why does Mother Goose look like a man? She looks like the Wicked Witch. Yeah, she's not very comforting, is she? Her book, Secret Thoughts of Unlucky Convert. Ah, um, I missed what Gigi's. Oh, yeah, Wicked Witch. Yeah. We're all agog. <laughs> we can't take any more ugly books. <laughs> um, I'm agog at this one. I really am. <sighs> all right. Okay. Now I got to clean up all the grunge off my desk and get things together for tomorrow. Maybe we'll unbox it the last couple at the beginning tomorrow. We'll start because we usually, you know, just chat for a few minutes, wait for people to come in. How about at six, we'll do the unboxing of the last four boxes that are sitting here so we can do that start right at six to do that and then since we get those done then we'll be able to go into the sale how's that sound does that work for everybody i gotta go wash my hands they are grunged yeah oh oh nightmares about all this fighting over these books no you never fight <laughs> and no one ever wins yeah yeah we don't fight. That's why the some of those that are great big, we take them apart. Everybody can get some. That's that feels better. I'd rather share. <laughs> We're all bark and no bite. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you for me. Thank you, Liz, for putting that in. I'll I'll go in right now and create the event tomorrow, six p.m. Mountain, seven Central, eight Eastern, five Pacific. We'll see you back here and a uh, ton of stuff, stuff that we didn't show tonight even. But I'll put, try to get some of this in there, too. I've got some really old, cool books for tomorrow. Um, and some stuff that you can pay what you want for it. So, awesome. Maybe we should start earlier. I don't know. We might need to, huh? Uh, let me think about how that will work with my schedule. But if we, we might work, um, maybe, hmm, get, might be able to start at 5.30. If that works for everybody. Um, but check Watch for the um, watch for the notification. If you don't see it, go in and uh, uh, look for it, and I'll put it in 